Hey everyone, this is your teacher, Mrs. Halcom. Uh, this is part of the series on finding the main idea. This particular mini lesson focuses exactly on uh, an example from your actual activity in English 9 semester one. Uh, so it's a great one to pay attention as we'll walk through the, the steps of finding the main idea and it should be pretty quick. So in the previous videos, in the video and the lesson, it talked about what is the main idea. And this is a quick graphic. We've kind of already talked about and discussed main idea um, and what it means. But this, I like this graphic because it shows that everything that supports the main idea, like commentary, concrete details, uh, should align with that main idea. So the main idea is in the top. It's the general idea. And all the supporting details lead up to it. These are the four steps for finding the main idea. You want to read the article, answer the question, what is this article about? Pay attention to the topic and concluding sentences. Write the main idea statement in a complete sentence. So let's go. Let's actually look at a real example from your activity. So this is taken from activity 421, English 9, semester one. Make me smaller here. Uh, so this is the example paragraph. It is about uh, the civil rights movement and the Montgomery bus boycott, perhaps. I see Montgomery, Alabama mentioned. So we're going to, I'm gonna read it aloud. You can follow along as I go, and then we'll go through the four steps to find the main idea. Not so long ago in Montgomery, Alabama, the color of your skin determined where you could sit on a public bus. If you happened to be an African American, you had to sit in the back of the bus, even if there were empty seats up front. Back then, racial segregation was the rule throughout the American South. Strict laws called Jim Crow laws enforced a system of white supremacy that discriminated against blacks and kept them in their place as second, second class citizens. All right, so before I start to comprehend anything, I always try to note any vocabulary words that are particularly uh, challenging. I don't see too many. Uh, segregation might be one. That means when you're, you're splitting, particularly a race of people and separating them. Uh, and then Jim Crow laws, that, if you're not familiar with that term, it's kind of uh, defined here. It says, enforce a system of white supremacy that discriminated against blacks and kept them in their place as second class citizens. So Jim Crow laws uh, remain, uh, refers to the laws that discriminated against uh, blacks in the South. So we read the whole text. We talked about the vocabulary words that might have been challenging. We identified them. And then step two is, what is this article about? All right, so as I read, I know I noticed it was Montgomery, Alabama. I'm kind of pulling from my prior knowledge of what I know about Montgomery, Alabama, and I know that there was a bus boycott, um, and I know that there was segregation, and I know a little bit about that. So I'm kind of pulling about that, and um, I'm thinking this has to do with segregation, specifically it mentioned on a bus, and the Jim Crow laws. So this it's about this time period in the American South. So I want to pay attention to the topic and concluding sentences because those usually give me a hint at the main idea. It says, not so long ago in Montgomery, Alabama, the color of your skin determined where you could sit on a public bus. Okay, so referring to separating people based on their skin color. And in the concluding sentence, it talks about Jim Crow laws, which separated and discriminated people based on their skin color. So again, talking about discrimination and segregation. So the next step is to write the main idea statement in a complete sentence. So putting that all together, I definitely have some clues, the Jim Crow laws, uh, that words like segregation and discriminated also hints that people were separated on a public bus. Public means everybody. Uh, but then there was laws to separate people. So my main idea statement will be Montgomery, Alabama hosted laws that discriminated against African Americans. Okay, so it's all about this paragraph is all about those laws uh, taking place in Montgomery, Alabama. All right, I hope this video was helpful for you. And uh, tune in for other videos that can help you. These little short videos are really helpful um, 
in benefiting your, your reading strategies that you pull from. And I hope you check them out in the future.